Well, let's uh, go to Tallahassee right now and talk to the mayor of Tallahassee, Andrew Gilm. Andrew, you, uh, Mr. Mayor, you shocked the political world. I was getting phone calls. Joe, you know Florida. We're worried about this green guy. He's dumping too much cash in. Joe, uh, Graham, she doesn't have what it, everybody was saying. You need to say this on your show. You need to say that on your show because mm. they all thought the South Florida uh, guys and women were going to win this thing. You had, a, you had another thing in mind. How did you shock the political world? Yeah, well, first of all, good morning, Joe, and, and, and to everyone there. Uh, it, it feels real good. Uh, we had over 500,000 people come out yesterday and support uh, the underdog candidate uh, at a very, very grassroots level. I think my uh, four opponents combined may have spent close to $90 million dollars uh, to our six, uh, and it was the voices uh, and the activism of everyday folks all across the state in red areas, blue areas, purple areas of this state uh, who came uh, together to elect me the Democratic nominee for governor of the state of Florida. Um, that's the kind of grassroots support and capacity that's going to lead us forward to victory on the 6th of November. You know, Mr. Mayor, uh, Ron DeSantis, who won, of course, the Republican nomination uh, for the Senate race, um, he put out a statement saying that you were far, far too liberal to get elected in the state of Florida. That sounds very familiar to what a lot of Republicans were saying about Barack Obama in 2008, that he was the second or third most liberal senator in the United States Senate. There was no way he would ever be elected president of the United States. What do you say to Ron DeSantis this morning? Well, I'll just say to, to Florida voters, and I think they know this and demonstrated this yesterday uh, in the primary, what we've been talking about are the issues that uh, concern everyday people. We've talked about what it means to pay people a wage that they can live on. We've spoken about what it means to have access to health care as a right and not a privilege. Uh, we talked to them about real criminal justice reform. Uh, and these were issues that showed up for us time and time again. Education, Florida right now, average teacher pay, uh, and the state of Florida is the 45th lowest of all 50 states. We're the third largest state in America. Uh, and yet we're back of the pack on some of the most important areas that matter. So Ron DeSantis can talk about uh, race and liberalism and whatever else he wants to. I'm going to be clearly focused on the issues that confront everyday Floridians. And I honestly believe that that is what's going to allow us to carry this thing to victory on November 6th. It's not by uh, running uh, to or from or, or, or left or right, but running directly toward the people of our state. That's what I did in this primary, and that's what we're going to do in the general. So, Mr. Mayor, uh, every citizen of every state is concerned with, uh, I'm sure, many of the issues that you just spoke about, health care, teacher salaries, good schools for their children, their children's future. Uh, but every state, like Florida, has a problem in terms of how do you maintain the fiscal health of the state. So what specifically are you going to do, other than raising taxes in Florida, to maintain the fiscal health of your state? Yeah, well, Florida doesn't lack uh, uh, in many ways for the resources that we need. Our problem is, is where we have decided to place those resources. Um, whether we're going to continue to give major tax breaks uh, uh, to corporations uh, uh, and to very expensive luxury uh, items or whether we're going to invest that money in our children. Are we going to realign uh, the political system in this state to pour more resources into education over the incarceration of our youth? In this state, uh, we spend about $7,500 a year in educating a kid uh, and near north of $30,000 a year to incarcerate. Uh, there's a mismatch in priorities there. It's important to me that we look top to bottom at our budget. Yes, we're going to ensure that everybody pays their for sh fair share. A regular, everyday working people of this state already pay our fair share. Uh, it's time to ensure that corporations also contribute to the pot uh, in such a way that, frankly, enriches them. When we produce good educated talent, uh, that, that provides a great workforce for them. When we pour into uh, our uh, next generation uh, technology, uh, that helps the corporations. We become a state that people want to locate in and corporations want to locate in when we produce good, solid, uh, solid qualified talent uh, uh, to fuel our workforce. I think that's the vision we want to try to elevate, not a low-wage economy where people have to work multiple jobs in order to make ends meet. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Sam Stein here. Congratulations on the uh, primary victory last night. Um, I saw you say uh, sometime last night in the euphoria that you didn't really talk a lot about Donald Trump.
during the primary campaign. Uh, I guess perhaps I'm sort of curious how that's possible because he dominates everything. But in reality, uh, the truth is his fingerprints are all over our political system. Obviously, in your state, uh, a huge pe uh, a, a population of uh, Puerto Ricans have fled that island, for instance, because of the federal response to the hurricane there. So as a general question, I am curious. A lot of Trump voters are fully committed to this man and won't break with them over pretty much anything, but you do need to reach these people. Uh, Florida is a very swingy state. You do need to reach these people. So what is your message to perhaps the most committed Trump voter, the person who's watching Fox News, probably seeing Ron DeSantis on right now? What is your message to them about why they should vote for you? Well, I'll tell you, um, um, we believe we've got to talk to Floridians and largely uh, Floridians who have chosen not to participate in this political process because they don't believe in it anymore. Talking about Donald Trump and, and reminding folks of how bad he is and how unqualified he is for the job that he holds uh, doesn't do anything to ensure that they're able to make ends meet, doesn't do anything uh, to ensure that they get access to good health care and a good education system and uh, 21st century transportation and a clean and good environment. So we tried to talk about those things, but without a doubt, uh, we know that, that Donald Trump looms in the shadows here. Uh, we know uh, that for Hurricane Maria survivors who were largely uh, uh, in the I-4 corridor, that they have felt completely disrespected by, by this president. Uh, for Haitian uh, <coughs> Americans in uh, South Florida and all over the state who feel completely uh, disrespected by the rhetoric of this president when it comes to how he refers to their homeland. Uh, what we're going to do, however, is to stay very, very super concentrated on what are the experiences, the everyday lived experiences of people in this state and what we as, as the next governor of the state can do to make their lives better. Um, I would suggest that anybody across this country who is running uh, in these races, that we focus on the people first. They've been let down so many times by our political system. And in order for a candidate like me to win, uh, I've got to be able to turn out those voters who are highly skeptical of the political process, uh, don't feel like it works for them anymore, uh, and are looking for a champion, a voice. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. They want to see themselves reflected. And I think that's what we did in this primary race, and that's going to be critical uh, to winning in the general. And that applies to rural Florida, suburban Florida, or urban Florida. If your kids are being high stakes tested, if you've got to work multiple jobs, if your number one concern is going bankrupt over an illness that could impact you any day of the week, uh, then you right. want a governor like me who's going to focus on that. All right, Mayor Andrew Gillum, talking straight still to the voters. Thank you so much. And the conversation has just started. We, uh, we invited Ron DeSantis on uh, to talk this morning, uh, but his schedule was uh, a little busy. Uh, said uh, his team said they couldn't make it. We hope to have him on sometime soon. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.